Hello, I won't spend too much time on this, but uh, coming at you from a new setup, uh, there's my PS5 Series S, if you can see it, it's like it's hiding in the behind it, and there's a gaming PC at the back, so uh, very nice, I feel lucky to have these things, considering most people don't, you know, they've been selling out everywhere, just, it's ridiculous, I'm not, I'm not trying to show off by the way, I'm just saying, like, the fact that I have both, it's just, I, I don't know how I've done that. I, don't, I really don't know how I've done that. I, I, I just don't understand how I managed to do that. But anyway, uh, yeah, 2020 for many people has been an awful year for many reasons. Not going to go into that too much because, uh, you know, this channel, one of the reasons I do it is to bring positivity. Um, I don't want to get too serious and basically I want to put smiles on people's faces, you know, and I, and I hope I did that this year, especially in this dark year. Hopefully I, ent I entertain people because that's that's one thing I want to do like there's too much Darkness and negativity in the world. I want to bring some lights. I'm not trying to sound like some sort of uh, mission <laughs> Missionary person, but y y you get the point. I, I want to bring Something bright, you know s some entertainment to quite a glum world Is glum the right word? I don't know, but I hope I've done that this year and uh, next year I hope to do it more as well for sure um my 2020, personally, has been alright, I guess. There's been some big negatives, but there's also been positives. Um, positives being 4,000 subscribers on this channel, 600 on the second channel, Twitch affiliate. I became Twitch affiliate this year, which was just crazy for me, because, like, I needed a certain amount of viewers consistently over a month, like over 28 days, you've got to get this amount of consistent viewers. And it can't just be overall viewers, it's got to be like viewers actually watching for this amount of time. And it was so hard to get, but eventually I got there and the fact that I got Twitch affiliate was just amazing to me. I was just like, I did that? Really? It seemed impossible a few months ago, but that happened. So I became Twitch affiliate. Which means that I can now monetize it and I can get people to subscribe to me. Uh, so well, that, that, that's quite nice. Um, yeah, YouTube 4K, second channel, 600 as I mentioned already. And I got my first job. Um, I've had, I had a job before, but I was at uni for most of the time. I had, like, I had a job for two weeks. But my, my first proper job since uni, I literally I applied for it. And... They like something about my CV, or, or my resume as you might call it. They like something about it, because they invited me for my online assessments. I did a couple online assessments, and I did something right there, considering they called me back for an interview. And I did the interview. It was an individual and group interview as well. And uh, a day later, I literally I left the interview, a day later, I got an email saying I got the job. So... <laughs> That was just amazing to me because I wanted that job. Like I, I, I applied for a lot of jobs, but that was like the main one I wanted, the first one I applied for, and I got it. It, it was just insane to me. I even got a second job offer like a, a few days later from someone else. I'm just like, nah, got my first choice. But that was actually a great moment for me because I didn't expect to uh, expect things to go so smoothly, but they really did. So yeah, um, those are the main positives. I've also enjoyed making uh, content on YouTube and Twitch, so that's great. And I guess having those consoles is a big positive too, considering uh, the stock availability. But um, yeah, they were negatives too. I lost someone quite close to me. I'm not going to uh, go deep into it, but I did lose someone close. Not because of COVID, but for other reasons. And uh, it hit pretty hard because I'm not used to loss. I'm, I'm just, I'm not. It happened in July and I did a... I did a job of hiding it because I didn't show it on video or at work. I literally I went to work on the day. I found out in the morning, and I j it just hit me so hard because I'm literally I'm not used to loss. Until that day, I wasn't used to loss at all, really. So it hit really hard, but for some reason, I went to work, came home, made videos, and it was normal. Even though I was grieving, I still, I was still going. I don't know that, that that was just a really weird time. It was in it was in late July, just before my birthday as well. So, yeah, it was a, uh, it was a strange time. I'm not gonna I'm gonna go into detail. Yeah, I'm not 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 gonna go into that. But 
yeah, that was a dark moment. Also, Arsenal is a big part of my life. Um, they really do affect my mood. <laughs> they really do affect my mood. They've been a big part of my life for a long time. And uh, when they don't do well, I'm not doing very well. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a... Uh, it's not a healthy relationship right now, to be honest, but yeah, I have a deep connection with Arsenal and uh, the fact that they're not doing well. And also, one thing I loved about it is going to games. I loved going to home games, not been able to do it considering we're not allowed fans in there. And uh, that's a big downer for me as well, even though we're actually failing anyway. Also, I love going to the cinema and the cinema I go to is shut down all branches across the UK. So... That's a big downside because one of the things I love doing the most was watching movies at cinemas. I just love doing that. So for that not to be there either is just it's just depressing, you know. Um, I had to stop daily uploads this year and that was because I couldn't keep up with the full-time job. And I also wanted to think about, think about myself. I wanted more free time. Like throughout 2020, I couldn't watch a lot of my favorite TV shows. I couldn't watch many movies at home. I couldn't. Um, play games in my free time and I want to do those things I want to sit down turn my PS5 on and go on Cold War or or um, GTA or whatever game I want to play Spider-Man Remastered whatever right I want to just turn it on and play I want to turn on my Xbox and just play Forza for a bit you know just chill no stream no recording I've not been able to do that enough because I've been daily uploading and I've been grinding on Twitch as well but now that I stopped nearly uploading, I think I'll have more time now, not just to do those things, but also to sleep, to not be tired at work. And also, I just want to, some days I just want to come home, shower, get in my nightwear and just sit down, put a Blu-ray in and just relax and watch, watch a movie and then go to sleep. Just movie nights. I want to do that. I just want to, <laughs> I want to do that. But I've not been able to do that because I've not had the time. But um, I'm going to do that a lot more in 2021. Watch more TV shows that I've been missing out on. Watch more movies. Play more games. Get more sleep. You know, think about myself a bit more. But also, I do still want to be here making YouTube videos. And also streaming on Twitch. I enjoy doing all of that. But I just can't ever do it at the same rate I used to do it. So that's just how it is. Just as how life is, you know. Uh, but, you know, someday things will all work out. But um, I hope you had a good, had a good 2020. Um, probably didn't, but I hope you did. Um, hope you had a good Christmas. If you celebrate it, I had a good Christmas. It was quiet. Just a, just two people were here, but uh, Christmas dinner was good. Uh, had a nice turkey, you know. Bought a turkey last minute, and it was actually really nice. Uh, <laughs> um, I love Yorkshire pudding. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, the gravy. Gravy was succulent. Okay, I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop. But it was good. It was a good Christmas tonight. It was actually really good. So uh, yeah, I definitely got full up from that. And uh, yeah, the New Year's coming up soon. And I am working on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Good times. <laughs> good times. Who's, who's, uh, when am I going to celebrate? I'm going to celebrate New Year's at work. Actually, I finished at six on uh, New Year's Eve, so that's all right. Still, still. <laughs> I got to work on New Year's Day. We're getting paid more on that day though, so you know, I'm not complaining. You're giving me more pay to work on that day, okay. <laughs> yes, count me in. I said I wasn't going to spend too much on this video and it's been what, almost 10 minutes? Not done this on purpose, by the way. <laughs> you know, the video, you know, YouTube has a new thing now. You don't need to have a video 10 minutes to make, p put adverts in the middle. It's now 8 minutes. It's 8 minutes now, so... <laughs> you could have like 10 adverts in an 8 minute video. Can you imagine? I wouldn't do that. No, no, no. no. This one, I think, I won't even monetize. <laughs> it's, 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 you know, make the video just just free. This is your boy, David Offie. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.